gambling about my money, I would've went dummy and big grand. But I got this shit locked up, can't nobody stop us, young nigga. I'm tasting that big bag. Everybody rhyming that clutch in the fire on. My younger day wants on ride for him. He make it, we up and I. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy OTC Bro. My boy Chris right here for the time being. This is another Final Thoughts video. Now, this is uh, about the player's manual, Rocky, and that boy Ramirez G5. Now, remember, album was excellent. Production was insane. How Ramirez and Rocky traded off, you know, filling off each other's energy also played well into the production and to the layout of the rest of the album. Now, taking a step outside of his usual, very, very dark and, and evilish, you know, that G59 gray guy, that gray gorilla type feel, that, that type vibe, that type subject matter also, and switching over to a more, I wouldn't say a less of a in your face, type of delivery, but a more subtle type of delivery, a more smoother type of delivery. Also mixed in with some with some songs like Tells from the Gutter, Red Dot, even the Faux Five being a little more darker than the rest of the project, especially when it comes to subject matter, and especially when it comes to production. It so in the skits didn't take away from the tape. Added a little more personality, a little more humor that we don't get from Ramirez. He seems to be more boxed in when it comes to his humor than the Suicide Boys, than Shakewell, who's also on our G59, and especially Germ, who seem to have the bigger, larger, more brightened personalities that you can uh, you can you can see, you know. Um, so. That was also a good thing he uh, let us see in here too. And I'm gonna take away, and I wanna uh, step away from Ramirez and bring in Rocky. Rocky's vocals, or their game-changing vocals, they add that much oomph, they add mu that much extra, they add that much, you know, more entertainment towards the song. And with him coming in and switching off from doing the production with the vocals and Ramirez coming in doing the raps and even Ramirez adding some vocal talent as some of y'all uh, shared with me in the live stream, him also sharing some vocal talent also in there was a very good thing. But Rocky, this is also his project. I think when we we look at the projects, oh, it's Ramirez, it's Ramirez, Ramirez, G59, G59. But you can't forget the production and his vocals were very vital in this project. Without that, you know, we get something else. We get something else. We don't know if it's good, we don't know if it's bad. But with his vocals being a vital part of the project, you cannot ignore it. This wasn't a collab field project. You know, you had a uh, fellow G59 member, uh, Shakewell and Buffet Boy member, Puya. And then you had um, Night Lavelle at the end uh, for Red Dot, which was one of the songs that when I first heard it on live stream, I was like, damn, that's good. It's good, good song, good song. It's more like his talent. It's more like his, his, his feel we usually get from Ramirez. But when I listened to it after, I was like, wow, this might be one of the uh, better produced songs on the album. It might be, you know, at that point, I was thinking, oh, this this might be one of the best produced ones. Now we know the four five and tell us from the gutter. Those were his singles. Those were the ones he gave out before the, um, before this project dropped. I pretty much liked every song. If I didn't like the song in its entirety, I liked something from the song. It was only one song that I felt like, uh, I, I can do without, and I was brown eyes. I just wasn't feeling that one, not for me. Production was on point, but just wasn't the type of feel. And another song that on stream, I kind of was like, damn, this is Ramirez, isn't it? I've never heard him sound like that. It kind of threw me off. And the more I listen, the more I listen, the more I listen, the more I start liking the song. And that's Out The Way. Out, Out The Way is very, very unique song, I think, in Ramirez's catalog. Because with the, the vocals and with the rapping and with the cadence and with the delivery and with the, and the switch flow, he gave you something, a different type of voice, a different type of tone I've never heard him give me. And I think it I think it was dope. Lavender Lust was also a song that I was iffy about, but I was like, that's like an interlude. I didn't download that one, wasn't, didn't much care for it. It was more of a, you know, just a filler to get to the next side of the track, you know, of the of the project, you know, like a little intermission. So this, this project was filled with very, very, very good songs. Songs like, Lead Sled, uh, Tells from the Gutter, The Faux Five, Honey's Lane Switching. After listening to the, the project at least 
four times. I've listened to it four times since I uh, live streamed it. Hunnits is definitely my favorite song on the uh, project, hands down. My favorite produced song might be, it might be Red Dot, but with a slight edge, a slight edge, I'm gonna give it to the 4-5. It's my most favorite produced track on the project. Another thing with the production, it's, it got that player, it got that, that pimpish, it got that cool, chill vibe, but this did not sound like a underground project. This did not sound like an underground project. Some of these tracks like Gold Things and, and Pinky Rings, Out The Way, Glitter and Gold, those, those type songs on here, that production was very polished, very not whatever is the level above underground. I'm not saying underground ain't the shit because underground, I fuck with underground niggas. Whatever level is above, it sounded like the mainstream, like that, that, that group type production. Rocky deserves more recognition. I hope he gets more recognition. Subject matter in this one was pretty much what you're gonna get when you listen to those chill type, pimpish type, you know, West Coast, uh, mixed with a little bit of, of a Southern type of feel. Songs, you're gonna get that, that pimp talk. You're gonna get that smooth, um, calibrating talk and that's what Ramirez and that's what Rocky and even the people join in besides the lower half of the project which it seemed to get into more a darker phase which is more like I said earlier more Ramirez's type thing it didn't bring you back I was like oh, okay that's Ramirez but you can't forget this was also Rocky's project also but in but in all this 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 project you know it it, it didn't didn't feel like an album, it didn't feel like a mixtape. I've heard Ramirez and G59, their mixtapes. It felt like it was an experience. It felt like it was a, a journey into the other side of Ramirez that we, we've seen a little bit of, but we haven't seen fully of, and he fully gave that to us. Every lyric, every beat, every switch up, every delivery, every flow, every, every vocal tendency, they gave it to us on here. This was a very good project. And I know the Suicide Boys put out something else, but once again, just like last year, Ramirez was more consistent than the boys last year. This year, the boys project was good, but this is better to me. It's structured well overall. This is a better project than me. I feel like this project is better than Bones Offline. To me, he, Ramirez, from what I've heard, he has the best project. Even I've heard Terry Reed. His project was good, but it ain't beating this. This is the best underground project out thus far this year that I've heard. And I've heard other underground artists that we don't even cover on this channel and some that we do cover on this channel. So, but in bringing that all in, this was hands down the best project. Giving Bones offline a tough, tough fight. All right? All right, Mr. Boy OTC Rope. This is Reviews. Today is Thursday, Saturday. I will have a video up. My boy, um, Elliot, um, some of y'all know him as Bones Brother, hit me up on IG and he sent me some team sesh gear on Saturday. We will have a unboxing or unwrapping or un whatever of the gear. Anyways, man, it's your boy OTC, bro. This is Rude Reviews. And as always, I appreciate you for rocking with me and I'll see you when I see you.